Hey guys, what's up everyone? How's it going? So in this video, I want to show you something that um, I spend a lot of time thinking about and also investing in, and that's cryptocurrencies. Um, I'm not doing it for anyone, I'm doing it for myself, so there's no sponsor that I have here that I'm going to mention. <laughs> Uh, so I just tell you on um, how to mine your own cryptocurrencies all by yourself. And what I'm using for this, uh, since a couple of days, is Unminable. Uh, Unminable is very easy to use software um, that you can download from here. I'm going to share all the links that you need in the description so you can easily get access um, to everything that you need in order to get to produce your own cryptocurrencies which are um, for example BitTorrent I really like this one uh, BitTorrent is a very um, to me very promising cryptocurrency and a good idea as well uh, Cardano um, Binance coin very useful uh, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Dash and Dogecoin Ethereum Classic and Ethereum and plenty of them, Litecoin, Mathel also very promising one if you ask me, or Monero and Zcash maybe one of the tops that you can mine, as well as Ravencoin, so there's a lot of nice coins that you can uh, mine here, Ripple, Ox, uh, or Zero X, I was always wondering, anyways, uh, cryptocurrencies that have really changed the finance system in the last years and I'm concentrating especially guys and this is what I would recommend if there's anything that I can recommend because I'm not doing any financial um, advisory here so I'm not a specialist either um, if there's anything that I would recommend to you then that's altcoins um, in this case or in this example I'm going to show you how to mine dogecoin okay so first of all you go to unminable then you go to download and there you download either packed or the unpacked version of the unminable software um, since most of all antiviruses um, consider uh, mining as a virus because it's using your hardware your gpu or your cpu your graphics or your uh, computing um, uh, proce uh, processors um, to hash um, cryptocurrencies in order to make transactions in cryptocurrencies possible and produce for yourself as a gift. So it's actually a gift that you get for um, making transactions possible. So you're using your computer and it's only working on computers, not on phones. It's working on notebooks, but I would not recommend it. If you have a good graphics card on your on a gaming computer, that is a very good idea. If you have a spare computer, then it's also a good idea too. Um, or if you have spare um, processing power for um, your uh, CPU or graphic card, then feel free to use that. I would recommend that because it's spare and you, you're producing electricity or you're consuming electricity anyway, especially when you're doing um, green electricity like I do, and it's even better. So um, I downloaded that software already on Mineable Miner and I'm going to start it right off. And there, um, yeah, it will auto start in my case. I will just return to the, to the basics and it's pretty easy to understand. So um, what I'm doing here is I update my minor file um, folder, which is um, this one here, Phoenix Miner, for graphics card um, mining. Depending which graphics card you have, you will have to use a different algorithm. Or you can also go for CPU, which is not, not even comparably strong uh, then you can do for CPU mining as well and there you would have to download the XM rig um, software which I have here 
so you would have to just um, enter the, uh, you know, that path. But I did that for Phoenix Miner, which is going for graphic, um, um, uh, for graphic card mining, or mining with my graphic card. So there I go to next, and then I will have to enter um, my wallet and the coin that I'm going for. So usually I go for BitTorrent or for uh, Dogecoin, but there are plenty of others that you can go for. Um, like Monero or Zcash, I think they're really good to go. But in my case, I'm just going for Dogecoin because I love Dogecoin. And I will need a wallet for that. Uh, you can get wallets like um, on Binance or on Bitpanda for free. Um, so also here, I'm going to add my referral links there. Every referral link you will get will get you um, a lot of saves of fees so the referral code um, for um, unminable that you can use is this one here in order to save yourself 0.75% on the fees that you're uh, paying for um, the payouts of your cryptos uh, so yeah I'm going to copy my um, wallet key uh, dodge um, wallet address I mean from Binance and then just start mining and there you will see what I've um, mined so far so it's pretty pretty um, easy it's very important that you just enter that path where that software is that you're running on so in this case for me it's Phoenix Miner you can download it from from that link that they have provided there you go back there it's actually the link you click on it there you can just download it and We'll just have to uh, provide that link or that uh, file path. So then I, I click on start and it's running. Um, when um, in the minor logs you can just check what it's go what's going on. So it's actually using my GPU checking for um, um, yeah for jobs. So it found it finds jobs automatically that it can do to um, um, yeah, and then it starts it's hashing. Yeah, you can see it's hashing uh, speed as well, and you know the, uh, the condition of your CPU. You can see it here, like 64 degrees, 30 percent, 30 percent performance, 128 uh, watts uh, used for. Um, I don't know if it's for the hashing itself or general. I think it's just for hashing. So. Yeah, the average speed is currently at 18 uh, mega hash per second on my graphics card. Pretty nice, actually. Uh, so we're going to close that down again. You can see that uh, hash rate over here as well and how it's uh, developing. Here we can see my current balance of Dogecoin. If I hit the 50 Dogecoin, which is in my case like every two days, I think, then it's going to transfer them right to my wallet over here that's why I entered that wallet address so I click on website and there I can also see my perf performance so far um, from wherever I am and I can put off that automatic um, payout as well it's all currently auto payouts every four hours when I hit that 50 dodge coins here it shows me how many uh, dodge coins I have um, produced in 24 hours and um, no, yeah, the, the rewards and how many I got pay out. Then here you can see my uh, referral link for Dogecoin. For some reason, it's changing every time. So I'm just going to share my um, my links with you in the description. So I get 25, 0.25% uh, um, of of the hash that you do, and you save 0.75%. Um, of the hashes you're doing on fees um, so it's a win-win situation for both of us um, same will be for that uh, Binance and Bitpanda um, account if you want to do hashing then you will need a wallet where you are going to pay out your uh, cryptos and I'm going to share my referral links as well with you there you're also going to save um, 
on your fees when doing transactions and same for me. Uh, actually, that's about it. It's exactly the same when going for CPU mining and that's all you need to know about how to hash um, cryptocurrencies. You will have to wait sometimes until um, there's going to be, um, um, you know, there are going to be shares. So just run it for a bit and you will see the outcome of that. It's really fun. It's, um, I think, good way to invest your uh, PC power or computer power into when you have spare power. Here, by the way, you can also um, adjust the mining intensity. In my case, it's uh, just low. You can increase that. You can change the algorithm. So if your uh, graphic card is a bit, um, you know, non, you know, not the news one and quite low performance, then you can go for ETC hash algorithm else you can go for ET hash um, so uh, by 4 gigabytes uh, RAM you can go with ET hash and it's more profitable or more efficient when uh, on that algorithm so um, here the referral co code I'm just going to hack this one I don't know if this would work for myself but just for you if you want to use that referral code you can use that um, save and restart and then it's going to restart with that settings and I'm not sure if I clicked on auto start oops auto start yes so it's auto starting whenever I start that that app that software uh, you don't even have to install it so I think you can just call it an app um, yeah whenever you start it then it will start right off with uh, hashing you don't have to do anything else so I hope this was helpful for you I hope you guys are going to mine with me together because I think mining is for the good and uh, cryptocurrencies in general is all about the future. Uh, yeah, wish you a lot of fun and feel free to share your thoughts and your questions with me in the comments section below. Otherwise, if you didn't do so yet, um, press the like button, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video. Bye-bye guys.